What is up guys, Keyline by here. There have been a lot of people having camera issues in Punishing Grey Raven. They wish it could be more smooth like Genshin Impact and other sort of games. So I wanted to make this video to teach you guys how to change your camera options so that you can move in a smooth and simple manner without clicking and dragging or using keybinds. I also wanted to show how to be able to change some of your keybinds such as being able to auto attack with your left mouse button because that is something a lot of people have been wanting. So I hope this video helps you guys find Punishing Grey Raven more enjoyable. So most players are playing like this where they're clicking and dragging to move their camera or they're using a keybind to move their camera. However, there's an actual easier way to be able to move your camera controls. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to go to game controls on BlueStacks, open advanced editor, and there you're going to have this thing here. I'm going to get rid of it for the sake of this video. It's going to be called aim, pan, and shoot. You're going to click and drag that. You're going to press a button where it's going to be a toggle key. For myself, I use mouse four, so pick a key that's easy for you. These X and Y button, uh, these X and Y numbers are basically your sensitivity. So if you want your camera to snap at a higher speed, raise the number, lower speed, then just lower the number, right? And once you move over here on the bottom left of this little icon, there will be a settings button. When you click the settings button, there will be something where it says fire with left click. You're going to toggle that on and then you're going click to and, click and drag this option and you'll see a little mouse with the left mouse button and put it over your attack key. And once you do that, you save, and then you're going to close out. You can also choose to go to config one up here under control scheme. And if you do that, it'll automatically have this stuff. You see how it says X button one here at 0.6.6. .6. And this is also uh, left mouse button to attack. I switched it back to default scheme. I'm going to exit here and when I'm going to save the changes. And when I go back in the game, you also will see if I press mouse four, my cursor will disappear and I'll be able to move my camera with just my mouse. You'll see here. In my webcam that i'm just using my mouse only and i can do that and if i left mouse button you'll see that i'll be attacking as well to change the camera movement like we did with blue stacks how you're going to do it in mumu player is you're going to end up going inside a pgr and then go to the keyboard and mouse version then at the top of it you'll see where there's an aim and a fire i'm going to delete the aim one but if you click and drag the aim one it'll have it here you click in the middle and then pick a button that you'd want. I'm going to do mouse four again. And then on the sides, I recommend you drag these sides all the way to the edges because then it'll make it so that like uh, you have the camera everywhere and it doesn't get caught and stuck. And so for the left mouse button, it's going to be the fire and you're going to click and drag and put it over the fire. You're going to save, then you're going to exit. And when you go back into the game, you're going to be able to mouse four and you'll be seeing here that I can move my camera around without any other keys and left mouse button will auto attack and then you press mouse four again every time you want to toggle and get your cursor back if you do do this toggle mechanic for your camera movement i do recommend you also put some extra key binds so that you can have like dialogue skips down here or maybe one up here to do another skip for the cutscenes in case you guys just don't want to toggle off the mode so you can get your cursor and click on them for LD player, you're going to go up to the top right where it's going to say keyboard mapping panel. Then you're going to go click on the keyboard option and you're going to go have this one that says control view by your mouse in first person shooter game. You're going to click and drag that and you're going to do the same thing as the other emulators and you're going to click a button that you're going to use to toggle the mode to aim with your mouse. And then there's going to be the left click to fire first person and you're going to click and drag that to the bottom right. You're going to click save. And you should be able to do it. You can test it by pressing mouse 4 or whatever you toggled to. And move your mouse around. You can see here that I am moving the LD player home menu. And if I do left clicks, it should be clicking right there. That's going to be all for this video. I just wanted to make it really quick and simple because this camera tip definitely did help my enjoyment and my ability to play this game. Comment down below if you guys are using this camera style or whatever camera style you guys are using. If you guys are using a different emulator that wasn't covered here and you guys can't figure out, feel free to let me know as well. Please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to get more Punishing Grey Raven content. Follow me on Twitch to get live PGR gameplay and tips. And follow me on Twitter for quick and simple updates on the game. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.